This is Mike Muller with the Lake Local Network. Lake Local Aid, Connect Globally. Had the pleasure of being in the Chicago Tribune, or actually Trib Local offices in Westchester today, and we're visiting with Kara Silva. Kara, thanks for letting us in. And we're kind of doing a little bit of a review, or Kara, why don't you tell the folks what we're doing? All right, we're soon. We have a list of eight tips here. We've already done the first two, now we're on to the second two. Right, you want to do, what were the first two? Uh, the first two were photos, which is obviously crucial, as well as uh, just the facts. Keep it, keep it factual and objective, and keep out the PR fluff. Just the facts. Yep. Just the facts. What's trip tip number three? Number three, I'm going to go into grammar a little bit. Not a favorite, but it's interesting. Um, was, just, that good, was that a good class for you? Uh, I no, not really. No. But, um, All right. But yeah, that's why I'm teaching you how to do it because if you can't do teach, right? Anyways, <laughs> um, okay, so the reason why this is important is because some people make classic mistakes that end up them not getting their story published just for that one little thing. And it doesn't seem like a lot when you're doing it, but it does make a big difference. For example, um, when you're writing a headline, a headline should not be a sentence, there should not be a period in there. It is basically a phrase summing up whatever the story is about. And as well as do not uh, make your headlines all in capitalization. Sometimes people do that to try and get more attention to it, but usually that does the opposite. No one wants to read something that's all in capitalizations. Also, include paragraph breaks. I understand if you're uh, copy and pasting a press release, which is completely fine, just make sure to clean it up a little bit just so it's easier on the reader. If there aren't any uh, paragraph breaks, just add a couple enters in there and it is just a lot easier for them to read. Um, also, um, Make sure that it looks more professional as far as if you have exclamation points and things like that. That's usually when someone's like shouting something or you don't want that kind of excess in your story, you know. Um, and also try to avoid first person writing. That kind of goes along with being objective. You don't want to say I, I and me and... So, so you can't like talk about it from a third person. Right, right, right. You don't want to say like come to my business, it's the best. Go to that's... Kara's business, that's what <laughs> Come to TribLocal.com. Yes. Come to TribLocal.com. Okay, what else? Um, we got the second one. Make sure, this is actually really important as well because you always have to include the town name. The more times you include a town name, and not, I'm not saying as far as uh, quantity, saying, oh, Barrington 50 times in your post. I'm saying if you're doing a story about your business based in Barrington, make sure you say that. Because if I don't see the connection between Barrington and your post, I, I'm not going to highlight it because our whole thing here is being hyper-local. So as well as let's say you're doing an employee spotlight. Someone did something great in the community and they work for your company. If, they're, if your company is based in Barrington but they're from Crystal Lake, then make sure you say so-and-so of Crystal Lake did this great thing because then I can use it in my Barrington paper as well as my Crystal Lake paper. So now you have more eyes reading in the papers and, and I can put it on more websites online as well. So another well, tidbit. Let me ask you, does it make any difference in how long the article is? Because you already said don't put the headlines in all uh, capitals right? because that's like yelling. Mm -hmm, exactly. Somewhat, right? Somewhat. And then, okay. <laughs> does it make a difference on the length of them though? said to have paragraph breaks. I mean, is there 100 words? Is there 300 words? Um, honestly, say? when you're doing, I could talked about this before in the other tips, the inverted pyramid, you don't really, it shouldn't be that long if you, if you are writing that way as far as putting all the most important and pertinent information up top. Um, I would say 500 words is getting to be long. You know, right, sometimes you much. yeah. Sometimes you need it if you're telling a really good story, but generally business stories, you want to keep them nice and short and concise. So. Very good. Well, we thank you thank for you the second much. round of trips. We ought to start calling this like Silva's tips or Carol's <laughs> tips or something, don't you think? Oh, we could. Well, I got a patent that, I guess. Maybe we'll try it next time. <laughs> it's Mike Bowler from the Trip Local offices in Westchester, Illinois, for the Link Local Network. Link locally, connect globally.